10, HPD says it's unclear if a man shot to death by police in Makaha today was still holding a knife when he lunged at an officer. It's Oahu's second deadly police shooting so far this year. Ben Gutierrez is here now with tonight's top story. Police were called to Farrington Highway near Maua Street at about 11 this morning because a man was standing in the middle of the road. HPD's chief says what happened next unfolded quickly and will be subject to a thorough review. The police chief says two officers told the man to get off Farrington Highway for traffic was moving around him, but he refused and pulled out a knife with a two or three inch blade. One officer tased the man and he fell to the ground. The officers appeared to close the distance uh, when the male got up and charged at the second officer, at which time the officer fired his weapon twice, striking the suspect in the chest. But was the man still holding the knife? Logan says unreleased body cam video shows an object flying toward the second officer after the man is tased. I think we believe that it was the knife that was thrown out of his hand at the officer. Whether he went to retrieve it or what the, the individual was doing, that we don't know. These things can turn on a, a, a dime. They can turn on a second. Former Deputy yeah. Chief John McCarthy says the officers are taught to react quickly and, when threatened, to use deadly force. The officers receive a lot of in-classroom training, textbook training, and then they're taken out onto the field and run through scenarios to sort of give them the pressure of having to make these decisions. The shooting comes on the same day police arrested Corin Farinas for a shooting on Saturday that killed an innocent bystander just three miles up the road. The community has also been rattled by drive-by shootings, including one last year that paralyzed Richiana de Guzman. There was also a teenager killed at Makaha Beach, a homeless man killed in Anakuli, a deadly shootout at the Wa'anae Harbor, and more. I've never seen so much gun violence going on. It's just over and over. Well, one thing, it hurts. You know, I don't know why, it, but it hurts. Blanca it's Larson really says she believes the man shot by police today was homeless and may have been helping to push a car. He's not, he's not a, like, like a regular homeless, you know, I don't think. He always goes around and collect gangs. The chief says he can't release more details of the shooting yet, but he's confident in his officers. They're out there doing their best to deter crime. Uh, it's unfortunate we have individuals that, for one reason or another, decide to take matters in their own hand and behave in a manner that's not socially acceptable with everyone else. Chief, is this Logan says the officers have 23 and 16 years of service with HPD and have been placed on standard administrative leave. Neither one was injured. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.